Okay, you're watching and listening to the Fat Bidin Film Club, and I'm assuming I'm Zan Azli. And I'm Aizid Azli. <laughs> we, we, we watched the telly movie on RTM. Wait, it's a super, super telly, telly movie. movie, whatever that means. Yeah. Uh, it's called. Srengenge. Srengenge. <laughs> So, uh, we watched it. I think you have to do the explaining of what Srengenge is about. Uh, why? Okay, I share it's okay. <laughs> well, basically, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a super telly movie on RTM. Yeah. I saw it uh, trending on, on, on social media. People who I kind of like trust in their taste of films were talking about it. What were they saying? Uh, they're saying, oh, this is something that we should watch. And if you missed it, you can watch it online. And th- they were just talking about it. They didn't really say much about the story. Right. But they were just trying to tell people, hey, you know, you could watch it. Nah. Right. right. So I thought, hey, why don't we watch it? And it's, uh, it's actually an adaptation of a novel by Shannon Ahmad. National Laureate. Yeah, National Laureate. And uh, yeah, you know. Shannon Ahmad. Yeah. He wrote shit, right? Yeah. That's what he told me. Lah. I, I can't remember who. I can't remember the, the backstory. Let's Google. But yeah, he wrote shit, uh, and shit was a book that was kind of like like banned, lah. Right? Yeah, it was criticizing the prime minister of, of that, the time. At that time. It was nineteen eighty eight, right? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So this 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 book, Srengenge, was it? Was the book also called Srengenge? I think so. Okay, it was also come out in the uh, uh, The book came out in the seventies, and it's very popular until now, lah. Seventies? Yeah, nineteen seventy three. But I remember uh, noticing the book only in the nineties, lah. Right. Yeah, you sure or not? Okay, you try Google. Yeah. Search Swinging Gay. Nineteen ninety nine. Swinging Gay. Hmm. No, no, I mean, uh, oh, we were talking about the novel that was made into the film. I, 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 my head was shit. Uh, no, it's shit, I was just mentioning 1998. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, but you're getting out of the frame. Yeah, okay, yeah. so Srengenge, it's a story about a small kampong mm. that is by this Bukit Srengenge. And uh, it is set in the period of, uh, well, not period, but like it's set in a, a time where they are waiting for the Padi to mature, hmm. to ripe. Is it this padi? Yes. Does does padi ripen? They ripen. Yeah. So they wait for the padi. They are, it's that period of time where they're waiting for the padi to uh, get ripe, and they just go. They have activities to to fill the time lah. Yeah, which is like you know going hunting lah, catching yeah. mouse deer, scanchel, yeah. catching uh, birds, you know. Yeah. Uh, catching. Uh, yeah. What's the what's the. Uh, Small mouse deer. No, the, no, that's like he trapped one of those oh, the black porcupine thing. Yeah. Landa. Ah. Mm. Yeah. So um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's the whole story, lah. No, that's the setting of the. Yeah, that's the that's setting, the setting, of, setting the story. of the the story. The yeah. story itself. And is you're going out of frame again. The story itself is actually about um, uh, superstition. Yeah. Uh, how how superstitious they they get. You, you want to tell them that they actually there's plans to clear the hill, yeah. Bukit Shingi, so that it brings a better life for the villagers. Yeah, one guy right. has plans yeah. to use this downtime to clear yeah. the the hills. Yeah, because so they want that, to develop the land. Yeah, and they have more things to do. Yeah. Aside from just like ah screw it lah, just catch some. This is downtime, and then we have fun. Some birds. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that that guy that character is uh. Uh, played by Eman Manana. Yeah, he's yeah. the protagonist lah. Mm. Most of this is being told through his perspective. Mm. Uh, so the there's a lot of superstition about the hill having uh, datuk datuk that that protects it. Yeah. You know. So uh. how they choose to spend their time in the hills uh, is how to say uh, they they comes back to them lah. Mm, mm, mm. mm. They believe how they choose to spend their time in the hills come back to them like that lah. Yeah, that's right. And initially, a lot of people were against developing the hill yeah. and clearing the land. 
right? Because, well, initially it was because it means that their recreational activities would have to cease. Yeah. You know, they wouldn't, ever ha- they wouldn't be, able, be able to go hunting la, and looking for birds and all that, yeah. right? But eventually it became something more. Yeah. Right. It became like uh, their beliefs, their their superstitious beliefs uh, started to rule. Uh, like one of them, Imam. Yeah. Right. He, uh, he, he goes crazy and he kills his own bird. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then the the trauma of killing his own bird, mm. uh, th- like, throws him into like epileptic fits. Yeah. So. But of course, the, all the kampung people believe it was he kind of rasok lah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's also like how tra- traumatic is killing a bird really that you start foaming at the mouth <laughs> so so they try to do a lot of superstitious ways to cure him yeah uh, and then uh, this the main character was Eman Manan yeah, I don't know his name the main character, character is constantly trying to argue that yeah bring him to hospital uh, 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 burn, burn, the only the only thing that we, we should be scared of is uh, I mean, the only thing that will bring down this mount, this hill is if you burn is, it down. Is, is fire and axe. So cl- basically clearing the land. Clearing, la. clearing the land rather than you go up and give offering. Because they wanted to offer rice and all that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's... that's, that's because it's, uh, it's actually very complex. Uh, mm. the, the, the themes are pretty complex. It's very wow. difficult to try to summarize the, 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 the plot. Yeah. So to keep it uh, simple, the setting is that it's downtime at a... Padi town at the Padi kampung, and then they are challenged by the the spirit of the hill, lah. Basically. Yeah, I, I I like the idea of it, and I'm sure the novel is really good, because yeah. I can see that uh it, it's trying to comment about Malay superstition and Malay, I guess uh, attitudes and, and and culture and beliefs. Right. Uh, it's trying to poke. I want to say poke fun, but it's not really poking fun, right? But it's criticizing Malay uh, culture, lah. Don't you think so? It's a critique of of a mindset. Mm. It's not necessarily a critic of Malays. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That which I agree lah. Yeah, basically that that's what I mean also lah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um. I don't know. I I, I find it interesting because if if you want to look at context, right? Uh, Shannon Ahmad who wrote Shannon. Shannon or Shannon? Yeah, Shannon. <laughs> it's difficult Shannon, la. It's Shannon, like Shannon hard, hard to Dorothy. guess it so lah. Yeah. Um, I mean, for 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 context, we know that he's a writer. An intellectual, right? He's a professor emeritus, right? And uh, he has been a, uh, he, he's received the highest literary award in Malaysia, right? Right, uh, but he has gone on to make books that have been banned, right? And he's very anti-establishment, right. you know. Um, so somehow, if you are anti-establishment in Malaysia, you kind of you can kind of guess his perspective and you know the way he thinks. And when you know that, and you look back at the story, right, mm. you kind of understand what that criticism is also. Yeah. Isn't it? Right. Yeah. So when I see that criticism, I kind of understand and can relate to it. Right. Yeah. Right. But you have to know the context. Huh? Right. You can't do it by just watching that film and then understanding it. Nah. Mm. You know? Mm. So you have to take the... the, the, the you also have to take the extra step of knowing the mm. the writer. Yeah, which I think should be if you are a film watcher, you know, if you're, you're an audience, mm. because you want to understand things through societal context as well. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, yeah. Unless, of course, you're watching a movie like Wonder Woman, you right. know. Uh, even then also, I'm sure you want to understand, okay, you know, why feminism or whatever, you, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's also, yeah, there's definitely a lot of context involved in that. Mm. Uh, but yeah, then again, do you think this film would have that, that, that multiple layers, like how a Hollywood film would have, you know? Because somebody who doesn't know the context can just watch Wonder Woman and enjoy it just as an entertaining superhero movie. Yeah, because what I felt about this movie is that uh, I constantly have to guess what it was like in the mo- book. Right, yeah. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to consider like, oh, uh, it's like this, it could have been like this in the book, that's why it comes out like this in the movie, mm. which was not necessarily very entertaining. Right. <laughs> you know, there were a lot of like, like parts that I feel were, uh, feel pointless, but you mm. can see how in the movie, in, yeah, the, in, book, in the book, it would, work. It, it would have been like a way to, 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 to provide uh, details on the setting. Yeah, 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 you can see that. You know? So it wasn't really adapted well, are you saying, right? Yeah. It's, it's not, not really it's not adapted, adapted well, well into a film. But towards yeah. the end, I, 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 it was so boring at first. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, until the, the the end towards the climax when everybody started going crazy mm. when they were started they started started like like giving like uh, offering to the not offering lah but like they started trying, trying to, to appease, appease the hill the spirits the bukit yeah. Yeah. Uh, it started getting like exciting mm. because like tension started building there was no tension building up until that point yeah true 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 so and okay. there were a lot of redundancies also yeah you know? like something they've already shown something happening but they still have to show somebody explaining that thing happening to another person yeah and if they did it in a way where it's a different perspective it'd be all right but this is the same thing <laughs> yeah yeah so i mean it makes me want to read the book actually i haven't read the yeah. book yeah i haven't Sa- read the book same here because yeah, it makes it's me got, want to read the book it's a lot of very interesting themes lah mm. malay culture themes lah <laughs> that that uh, uh so we're trying to find our roots is it yeah yeah <laughs> Try to find our roots. Our buntut hitam, Mak Saleh buntut hitam suddenly discovering our actual roots mm. from where the hitamness came into our buntuts. Yes. <laughs> the but do you think, well, this was made for RTM, so it was yeah. shown on TV, but now it's being streamed online, you can watch it online. Yeah. But it's very annoying because RTM puts this big watermark in the middle of the screen. Yeah. When you already have the TV one bug at the top, you still have that big watermark in the center of the screen, which is damn annoying. Lah. But was that stream a legal stream? Is it? I have no idea. I think it is. Was it a legitimate stream? I think it is. Because like why? Because would, they had advertisements, why, isn't it? And also, why would they have the RTM watermark, right? Yeah, but, but it had an a, advertisement. Yeah, yeah. And why you would have the? Yeah. yeah, I think it's a legit stream. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So go watch it. Look for it. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting watch, lah. Yeah, I'll probably link the streaming link. Mm. Right. Mm. To the channel. Yeah. And probably read the book also, lah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I have to say, like, like w- watching this movie, I I come in with almost zero context, lah. Mm-hmm. I come in with zero context of the story too, lah. She said, I know Shannon Ahmad wrote shit, lah. Right. Shit is a criticism of the, Government. you know, politics, lah. At that time, lah, during right. the '90s, late '90s, right. During the Anwar Ibrahim case, being fired as the deputy prime minister and all that, right? Right. Mahathir being the prime minister at that time. So yeah, so we, we, so yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's a bit dry in the cinemas right now. No local yes. films are being yeah, released. Yeah, I don't. I think next week also there's no new local movies. Yeah. You know, maybe it's the Ramadan rest. Oh, yeah, and then Hari Raya suddenly all the Hari Raya movies come out. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, lah. Okay. So you know, follow us on all our social media platforms mm. at FatBidin or go to FatBidin.com for everything. Like this video. Subscribe to us. Share it, right? Comment, right? Say that we lost lost touch of Malay culture. Yes. <laughs> In the comments. Uh, and, uh, also, yeah. whoever's watched the film, like, give your give, give your, your thoughts, thoughts. Yeah, give yeah, your give thoughts. Your on thoughts. It. There yeah. might be stuff that we or if you've read the book, we miss because like, uh, uh, yeah, it's not necessarily that we caught everything. Mm. Yep. On our first viewing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you've been watching and listening to the Fat Bidin Film Club, and I'm assuming I'm Zan Azli. And I'm Aizel Azli. Ah, uh, goodbye. <laughs>